Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Oh My God, Your Heads Con, and today we're playing some Black Ops 2 League play. So I'm just playing solo right now. We're playing Hardpoint on the map Yemen. I think I'm playing against another team or a team, not another team, because I'm playing by myself. But I'm playing against like a team of three, or it might have been four. I don't know, but the team was really bad, so it was actually a really easy win, and I figured I'd just try to give you guys a couple of tips for uh, for league play, because it is a lot different than just regular public play, because first off, you're not going to be worrying about getting your kill streaks. You want to do the objective, because the goal is to win. It's not like public servers, where people don't really give a shit about winning, and they will kind of camp in the back of the map, and just try to get their dogs, or whatever the hell they're trying to get, and they won't try to get the objective in league play what you're trying to do is win and that's all there is to it so what you're gonna want to do is probably change up your play style a lot from how you would play just a regular public server because you're not gonna win if you're facing a team that knows what they're doing and you're just playing like a regular you know public server douchebag who's just trying to get a score streak so a couple of other things that are different in league play is they have some rules like uh, for example you can't use some perks you can't use some score streaks and uh, you can't use, I, I don't think there are any guns you can't use, but basically there's some limitations and what they're trying to do with this is they're trying to make it uh, really similar to actual competitive gaming like game battles and MLG, Major League Gaming Rules, where the game has basically been stripped to the bare bones and what makes a team win is strategy rather than just sort of sort of the cheap things in the game. So in League Play there's only going to be I think three game modes, Search and Destroy, Capture the Flag, and Hardpoint. I think in uh in actual MLG and game battles and stuff like that, MLG variant rules also include domination, but I don't think it's in league play because I didn't play any domination and I was playing for, for a good couple of hours, so those are the three main game types and there's a reason for that. Those are the ones that are going to be used in actual competitive gaming, so league play is a really good play place to get uh used to actual gaming that has competition so if you're interested in starting game battles and stuff like that you can always start off on league play and get get used to that kind of stuff but uh let's talk a little bit about the gameplay now you'll see the msmc smg used constantly in league play and that's because it it's the best smg by far i'd say I mean, in public servers, you will see a lot more people kind of using any of the other SMGs, but the reason this gun is so good is because the recoil is so consistent on it, and it has really good damage, and in League Play and in competitive gaming in general, you won't see people using silencers, so some SMGs are actually better with silencers, or they feel better, but realistically, you don't want to use a silencer at all because you're going to reduce your damage and you're going to lose one versus one fights by having a silencer on. In League Play it's very important to be able to take opponents down as quick as you possibly can because they're not going to just be bad kids like in most public servers. A lot of people will actually be good kids and they'll be able to aim and you're going to be counting on how well your weapon can actually compete against their aim. And if you are, you know, taking an extra bullet to get a kill, you're going to end up losing gunfights so much more often. So. Let's move on to some hardpoint strategies now. The basic goal of any hardpoint game is to capture the hardpoints which rotate around each map. I think there are four or five on each map. I never can remember this kind of stuff, but they are always going to appear in the same order, in the same spot. So once you get those memorized, you'll have a, a much easier time knowing where the next one is. And this is really good strat strategically wise or strategy wise because you'll be able to get to the next hard point before your team is even finished on the current one. So you have one guy remain back for the last 10 seconds or whatever and get those last 10 points. And then you'll the rest of your team will kind of move on to the next one and you'll get a lockdown before the enemy team can even get near it while they're still occupied with the first one and you will constantly have the hard point at all times another thing about hard point is only one person actually needs to be in the hard point at any given time so to get points so what you want to do is once your team has a hard point you don't want to stay in the hard point that makes it really easy to get grenaded which you should always be using flak jacket for by the way or stun which you should be using tactical mask for by the way and uh, and that makes it, but it still makes it a lot easier for the opponent to know exactly where you are and to kill you. What you want to do is actually kind of position yourself outside the hard point and get yourself in such a position where you'll be able to cut enemies off while they try to get to the hard point. So you'll see, like right here, this is what I do. 
I know that we have the hard point really well locked down, so I'm going to watch this whole back area and just wait for any enemies to come. They're not going to expect me there. I'm going to be able to take them out, and they're going to spawn all the way across the map again and have to run back just to there. And they never had a chance because they're not going to expect me here. So you'll see this a lot in any uh, league play. If you're playing a decent team, you're going to see they're going to lock hard points down, and you're not going to be able to get near them unless you have a good team as well. So it's it's really key for hard point. You'll see again here. We have the hard point, so I lock down a really good central point where I can't get flanked. And then I can easily pick off enemies as they pretty much just walk past me. And they'll never have a chance at getting near the hard point. So remember, if you're playing a good team, you're going to want to change up your position if you're doing that, though, or else they'll keep on coming back and, and they'll kill you for sure after a while. So change up your position. But anyways, this is the end of the video already. I wish I wasn't because I feel like I have so much more to talk about. But uh, that's it for this video. I, I think I'm going to definitely make more videos like this in the future. So if you guys enjoy this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time, peace out, people. Hmm.